Dave Gibson here in the continuing series on the TG4 camera and the rig that I use with it. I promised we'd have a video on the metal ball arm rack here. Now to back up just a little bit, I've been using the Fantasy tray and plastic ball arms that it was limiting to me to get it adjusted the way I wanted plus this was not good for me plus it has lots of movement in it I like it it works great okay but I've used the metal ball arms before and they're really improved now and the thing about these is real simple. It's the same kind of a tray. Uh, works the same except the ball, the arms, the metal arms have balls on them. And the balls have um, O-rings in them right here. And that you get this adjusted just right. It doesn't take much. These are spring loaded. You get this adjusted just right and it will stay in the water and you can move it around like this and it makes no noise. It's really, really nice. Really handy. It, the, because it weighs less in the water, it will stay wherever you want it. And it just takes the right amount of tension in the water. It don't, won't work the same way right here because it takes more to hold the weight of it. But you can move this around and get it anywhere you want it and you notice it makes no noise. They are a lot more flexible. I like it a lot. It will come in and around. You can um, move this, turn it on here like this. So you can get this in clear over here like this. So it has a lot more flexibility in it, plus it doesn't make any of the noises that the other does. I really like it in the water. It's when I fold it all up to go in the water or to come out of the water, I just put a little Velcro strap around these two arms. That way if I hold hand it up to the guys on the boat, it's not going to come all floppy on me. It encloses a little video and it shows what it looks like in the water and how easy it moves. And I'll put a link on the most recent video I used with it just like this. In close up mode and macro mode on the camera with these lights, TTL with no diffusers on them. It works great. This is a great setup and I believe that the other tray is fine. But I believe if you were going to start, if you knew what you were doing, if you are going to start, this would be the way to start. It's really not much more money, it's not much more weight, a lot more flexible. Of course the strobes give you a lot better color than taking available light, and that's what I like. Uh, also another uh, video I just posted, uh, which is almost all video with available light, you can see what that looks like too. So here is the tray with metal ball arms from Mosaic Underwater Camera. It's, it carries their brand and it was very reasonably priced and they got to me very quickly. And again I really recommend Mosaic for all your underwater photography needs. Till the next time, keep wet. See ya.